It's a huge misconception that more talking equals better communication. Well, I'm here to tell you that effective listening is often exactly what you need to become a better communicator. So we're gonna talk about six tips to make you a more effective listener. Hello again, friends, welcome back. I'm Alex Lyon, and if we have not met yet, this channel is all about helping you, a rising leader, become a more effective leader so that you can bring out the best in all the people around you. And today we're going after effective listening skills. I have another related video that I'll link to in the card above or the description below about the barriers to effective listening. But in this video, we're gonna take it a step further and look at ways to build up your positive skills. And the bottom line for great listening is feedback. You, as a listener, are trying to give who's ever speaking positive feedback that will help them know that you are listening. And by doing that and making that your focus, you will become a better listener. So the first tip is nonverbal feedback. Now, when people are listening closely to you, they're doing things like making eye contact, they're nodding, and they're showing you through their facial expression that they're paying attention to what you're saying. Now, I'm not suggesting that you necessarily fake this, but if you take a genuine interest in what they're doing, you want to make sure you show it. Now, the alternative is, and you've probably seen this, people give you like a stone face. They have this neutral or blank expression on their face, and it doesn't really seem like they're listening. It seems like they're judging you. So you want to be aware of your facial expression, and you want to give positive nonverbals that show that you are listening to them. That's good feedback. The second tip is verbal feedback, and you wanna keep this pretty compressed. So as the person is talking at the right moment, you say things like, I hear you, or I know where you're coming from, or that makes sense. Some kind of short verbal utterance that shows them, gives them feedback that you are listening to them. It could be as short as, uh-huh, or yeah, even that alone gives them a cue that you are paying attention to what they are saying. Now the next tip is to listen to the big picture. This is a huge effective listening tip because a lot of times we get so caught up in the details. In fact, this is a barrier to effective listening in the other video I mentioned, but you wanna to listen to the big picture and that'll help you stay focused on what they're saying, not the details so much. And if you're in a content or a work-related setting, you're listening for the overall idea, the big picture idea. And if you're in a social situation, talking to a friend and so forth, you want to listen to the big picture emotion. So let's say they're frustrated or they're happy, you wanna connect with that emotion. And when you're listening to that big picture emotion, you're gonna show them that you're interested and be much more focused and tracking with what they are saying. The next tip is you want to stay on them. And what I mean by stay on them is keep the conversation focused on them as a person and also focus on their topic. So you might have an occasion to jump in and say something. Be sure that you don't take over the conversation and all of a sudden make it about you and make it about the topic that you really wanna be talking about. That's not good listening. Now, that might be good talking, but in this video, working on good listening. So stay on them. The next tip is when you do have the occasion to talk, make sure that your talking turn is concise. So you want to say whatever you have to say and it's completely appropriate while you're listening to chime in and add a sentence or two here or there, but make sure it's concise, like limit it to about a sentence and then bounce it back onto them. Like ask a follow-up question, probe into something they just said. So you give your opinion, then you bounce it and ask them, another question. That'll help the conversation stay on them. It'll make you a more effective listener. And the last tip is like the gold star bonus tip of the whole video, take action. A lot of times people miss out on this easy opportunity. If you're in a professional setting, you wanna let the person know what you're gonna do about it. What, if they shared some information, you'll say, okay, I'm gonna follow up and then follow up with an email or send them something that they asked for. And if you're in a social situation, one of a really classy move that shows that you care about the person is you follow up with them the next time. So then the next time you touch base with them or see them, you say, hey, say, by the way, whatever happened with that situation at work? Or how did that work out with your dog? Is she still sick? You follow up. Maybe you follow up by sending them a text. Maybe you follow up by sending them an email or something on social media. But that follow up is really what's gonna take your listening to the next level because that shows them 
that you care. That's feedback that shows them you were, in fact, listening, and you get a lot of credit for that follow-up. So those are six tips to more effective listening skills. Question of the day, which one of these do you struggle with the most, and which one of these do you think you're naturally best at? I would like to hear both sides of that coin, and I look forward to reading your comments in that section below. So thanks, God bless, and I will see you in the next video.